Lucille Bremer, a notable figure in classic Hollywood, captivated audiences with her performances. Whether it was on the big screen or television, many have fond memories of their first encounter with her work. Can you recall the initial Lucille Bremer production that left a lasting impression on you? Share your cherished memories and personal experiences related to this classic Hollywood actor in the comments below. Stay tuned as we unravel funny, shocking, and sad facts about her journey. There's more to discover. Keep watching for the intriguing details. In the annals of entertainment history, few figures stand as prominently as Lucille Bremer. Her impact on the world of film and dance during her time is worth celebrating. Born with a natural flair for performance, she captivated audiences with unique talents. A distinguished actress and dancer, Lucille Bremer emerged as a notable figure in the mid-20th century. Contributions to the world of entertainment were marked by a rare combination of grace, skill, and charisma. Whether gracefully gliding across the dance floor or portraying compelling characters on screen, she left an indelible mark on the industry. Her significance in that era lies not only in artistic prowess, but also in the ability to transcend the boundaries of conventional roles. In an era where roles for women were often limited, she carved a niche, showcasing a versatility that set her apart. Performances were not just a testament to talent, but also a reflection of the changing dynamics of the entertainment landscape. Beyond undeniable skill, her impact extended beyond the silver screen. She became a symbol of empowerment for aspiring artists, breaking barriers, and challenging stereotypes. Influence reached far beyond the confines of a single role or dance routine, making her a celebrated figure whose legacy continues to resonate in the hearts of those who appreciate the art of storytelling. In honoring this trailblazer, we pay homage to someone who, in her time, embodied the spirit of innovation and artistic expression. The journey serves as a reminder that true greatness transcends the confines of any one era. Lucille Bremer remains a figure worth celebrating for lasting contributions to the world of entertainment. Lucille Bremer, known for her work in the entertainment industry, stands out when compared to her peers of the era. In the context of her contemporaries, she demonstrated a distinct ability to seamlessly blend grace and charm with a strong on-screen presence. Performances, whether in musicals or dramas, showcased a versatility that few could match. What made her particularly noteworthy was impeccable dancing skills, adding an extra layer of dynamism to roles. In comparison to her contemporaries, her contribution to the film industry was marked by a nuanced approach to characters. While some leaned towards specific genres or roles, she managed to navigate various genres with ease, leaving an indelible mark on each. Her ability to convey emotions authentically and adapt to diverse roles is a testament to skill and adaptability. While she may not have reached the same level of widespread recognition as some peers, her impact on the film industry is undeniable. Performances, though not as extensively documented in the annals of history, carry a unique resonance. The simplicity of her approach and the effectiveness with which she portrayed characters make her an intriguing figure in the realm of classic cinema. In conclusion, when comparing her with peers, it becomes evident that her unique qualities, including versatility and a nuanced approach to roles, set her apart in the landscape of classic Hollywood cinema. March 25, 1946 marked a significant moment in Lucille Bremer's career as she graced the cover of Life magazine. Notably, her last name, often mispronounced as Bremer, is correctly articulated as Bremer. Beyond the nuances of pronunciation, she played a pivotal role as Fred Astaire's dance partner in two films. The Life magazine cover story on that day thrust her into the spotlight, capturing a moment in her career that would be etched in history. Pronounced Bremer, her last name became a point of distinction, correcting the common mispronunciation. However, her contribution to cinema goes beyond linguistic nuances. She shared the dance floor with Fred Astaire in two films, showcasing her prowess and leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Her collaboration with Astaire not only highlighted her talent, but also underscored her significance in the film industry. The Life magazine feature served as a testament to her rising prominence. In the world of cinema, her partnership with Astaire added a layer of intrigue to her career, solidifying her place in the annals of history. At 38 years old, Lucille Bremer welcomed her fourth child, Tora Richard Rodriguez, into the world on December 14, 1955. The father of the child was her ex-husband, Luis Rodriguez. 
This event marked a significant moment in her personal life, adding to the tapestry of experiences that shaped her journey. During her screen test at MGM, she faced a pivotal moment when given a scene from the Betty Davis film Dark Victory to perform. Notably, her striking resemblance to Davis caught the attention of those conducting the test. This resemblance hinted at a potential versatility in her acting abilities, setting the stage for her future in the film industry. At the age of 32, Lucille Bremer became a mother for the first time, giving birth to her daughter, Christina Rodriguez, on September 3, 1949. The child's father, once again, was Luis Rodriguez. This early experience of motherhood occurred amidst her burgeoning career, adding a layer of complexity to her life. These personal milestones offer glimpses into her life, intertwining with her cinematic journey. From the joy of motherhood to the challenges of a screen test, each moment contributed to the multifaceted narrative of her existence. These facets, both personal and professional, resonate through the annals of history, solidifying her place in the realm of entertainment. Born in Amsterdam, New York, Lucille Bremer shares her hometown with actor Kirk Douglas, who is two months her senior. Notably, she welcomed her second child at the age of 33, a daughter named Karen Rodriguez, born on December 26, 1950. The father of the child was her ex-husband, Louis Rodriguez. Her journey in the film industry included a pivotal moment during a screen test at MGM. Tasked with performing a scene from the Betty Davis film Dark Victory, her striking resemblance to Davis caught the attention of those conducting the test. This resemblance hinted at her potential versatility in acting, laying the foundation for her future in the film industry. Behind the scenes, Bremer had a powerful ally and supporter in MGM studio boss Louis B. Mayer. He, convinced of her star potential with proper handling, envisioned her as one of the studio's biggest stars. However, despite Mayer's confidence, she retired from the screen less than five years after her appearance in Meet Me in St. Louis in 1948. The decision to leave the industry marked a turning point in her life, and her legacy continues to be remembered through her notable contributions to cinema. A former member of the Radio City Rockettes, Lucille Bremer, found herself deeply rooted in the world of entertainment. Known for her dance partnership with Fred Astaire and a notable appearance on the cover of Life magazine, her journey took unexpected turns, adding layers to her story. Born in Amsterdam, New York, she shared her hometown with actor Kirk Douglas. Despite a promising start in the film industry, marked by a striking screen test resemblance to Betty Davis, she surprised many by retiring less than five years after her appearance in Meet Me in St. Louis in 1948. Behind the scenes, MGM studio boss Louis B. Mayer saw her as a potential star, confident in her abilities. However, her departure from the industry marked a turning point in her life, leaving behind a legacy that extends beyond the glitz of Hollywood. Upon her death, she chose a unique fate for her remains. Cremated, her ashes were scattered off the coast of Baja, California, perhaps a symbolic return to the vastness of the Pacific Ocean. Adding personal milestones to her narrative, she became a mother at various stages of her career. At 32, she welcomed her first child, Cristina Rodriguez, and at 35, her third child, Nicolas Rodriguez, with ex-husband Luis Rodriguez. These family moments, woven into the fabric of her life, offer a glimpse into the woman behind the dancer and actress. In a surprising twist, her decision to retire from the screen contrasts sharply with the expectations set by her early career. Despite the support of influential figures like Louis B. Mayer, Lucille Bremer chose a different path, leaving an enduring mark on the history of cinema. A devoted Republican, Lucille Bremer actively championed conservative political causes, dedicating both time and financial resources to the movement. Engaging fervently in Republican national conventions, galas, and fundraisers, she played a crucial role in supporting the campaigns of prominent figures such as Wendell Wilkie, Thomas E. Dewey, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Richard Nixon, and Ronald Reagan. Her active participation in these political endeavors served as a testament to unwavering commitment. Her dedication went beyond mere attendance. She became a key figure in mobilizing support and resources for the candidates she believed in. Whether through impassioned speeches or strategic networking, she contributed significantly to the success of these political figures. Her influence extended far beyond the confines of conventional political engagement, earning her a reputation as a staunch advocate for the Republican Party. 
In the vibrant tapestry of American politics, Lucille Bremer's role was not merely that of a spectator, but an active participant who left an indelible mark on the conservative landscape. Her intriguing journey through political galas and fundraisers, aligning herself with figures who shaped the nation's political trajectory, showcases a woman of influence and determination. Her legacy as a committed Republican endures through the political shifts of time, her impact resonating in the annals of history. The fervor with which she embraced and supported Republican causes remains an integral part of the narrative, etching her name alongside those she ardently championed. In the world of politics, her story is one of dedication and conviction. Lucille Bremer's journey in the entertainment industry took unexpected turns, adding layers to her story. Born in Amsterdam, New York, she shared her hometown with actor Kirk Douglas. Despite a promising start in the film industry, marked by a striking screen test resemblance to Betty Davis, she surprised many by retiring less than five years after her appearance in Meet Me in St. Louis in 1948. Behind the scenes, MGM studio boss Louis B. Mayer saw her as a potential star confident in her abilities. However, her departure from the industry marked a turning point in her life, leaving behind a legacy that extends beyond the glitz of Hollywood. Upon her death, she chose a unique fate for her remains. Cremated, her ashes were scattered off the coast of Baja, California, perhaps a symbolic return to the vastness of the Pacific Ocean. Adding personal milestones to her narrative, she became a mother at various stages of her career. At 32, she welcomed her first child, Cristina Rodriguez, and at 35, her third child, Nicolas Rodriguez, with ex-husband Luis Rodriguez. These family moments, woven into the fabric of her life, offer a glimpse into the woman behind the dancer and actress. In a surprising twist, her decision to retire from the screen contrasts sharply with the expectations set by her early career. Despite the support of influential figures like Louis B. Mayer, Lucille Bremer chose a different path leaving an enduring mark on the history of cinema. A devoted Republican, she actively championed conservative political causes, dedicating both time and financial resources to the movement. Engaging fervently in Republican national conventions, galas, and fundraisers, she played a crucial role in supporting the campaigns of prominent figures such as Wendell Wilkie, Thomas E. Dewey, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Richard Nixon, and Ronald Reagan. Her active participation in these political endeavors served as a testament to unwavering commitment. Whether through impassioned speeches or strategic networking, she contributed significantly to the success of these political figures. Her influence extended far beyond the confines of conventional political engagement, earning her a reputation as a staunch advocate for the Republican Party. In the vibrant tapestry of American politics, Lucille Bremer's role was not merely that of a spectator, but an active participant who left an indelible mark on the conservative landscape. Her intriguing journey through political galas and fundraisers, aligning herself with figures who shaped the nation's political trajectory, showcases a woman of influence and determination. Her legacy as a committed Republican endures through the political shifts of time, her impact resonating in the annals of history. The fervor with which she embraced and supported Republican causes remains an integral part of the narrative, etching her name alongside those she ardently championed.